What's up guys? For today's watch review, I wanted to talk about a watch from Casio Protrek. This is the PRW60T. I believe the T stands for titanium. Let's do a quick 360. As you can see, I swapped out the band for a NATO band. Um, not because I like the NATO band better, but because the version that I got I don't know why. So it comes originally with a titanium band. Uh, so like a metal band with the links. Um, but just for some reason it fell apart. I think that mine didn't come with the properly sized pins that attach the links together. So I swapped it out. Hopefully you don't get the same issue as me. I was really disappointed because I got this specifically for the titanium band. But uh, anyways, let's go into the talking points. Starting off with number one price, um, so this was a prime deal uh, on Amazon Prime Day. I got this for two hundred eighty dollars. That was a super good price. Normally this goes for five hundred plus. I want to say um, if you can get it for what I paid for, then go for it. Even anything under five hundred, I think, is a good deal. Um, but yeah, so you're just keep in mind you're not gonna get it for that price unless you buy it on you know like a super super deal day like black friday or prime day next item is tactical schmactical dressy or casual i'm going to say that this can definitely be a tactical watch um, it can definitely handle the environment it is a pro trek um, you know any casio watch is going to handle uh, most rugged environments um, and also the feature set this has it's just jam-packed with functions and features so definitely can help the operator out in the field um, as far as dressy goes I don't know dressy maybe I mean you're not gonna be out of place uh, in a dressy environment but I, for me I think it's really more just a tactical outdoorsy casual watch next item is functions so this is a ABC watch so altimeter barometer compass and temperature this top button right here that goes into compass um, so the second hand I believe is the thing that always points to north yep so as you turn there you go and then this bottom button right here that is the altimeter and then to get to the barometer you hit this button right there that is the barometer this is also your main uh, menu to scroll through the functions so barometer temperature and temperature is fairly accurate just as long as it hasn't been sitting on your wrist for a long time recall I'm, I never use this but I guess there's some memory function on this watch stopwatch self-explanatory timer alarm world time and this is your multiband 6 function so on August 10th at 2.03 in the morning it's synced up with the nearest radio tower um, this is also a solar powered watch so can't get any better than that um, if you're familiar with these kinds of watches you know that when you adjust to adjust anything you have to unscrew the crown and pull it out and that puts you in adjust mode so to change the time that you're in like as far as which city you just cycle like this so for me I am in LAX so I keep it there and then cycle through all the other adjustable things just hit this menu and then to get out of it just click the crown back in and screw it back in place so just absolutely jam-packed with different features and functions. Um, my opinion, a little bit too much for what I realistically use a watch for. But if you're that kind of guy, I mean, this is your watch. Um, next item is illumination. Let me go ahead and turn off the lights real quick. As far as illumination goes, this might be the best watch I've ever seen so not only do you have not only do you have a very decent glow-in-the-dark face or 
um, hour markers, hour and minute markers, you've got a really strong backlight and your analog hands light up. The, it really doesn't get any better than that, guys. For As far as a analog digital watch, this is the best I've ever seen. I think Casio really knocked it out of the park when it comes to illumination and hopefully they will uh, emulate that same style of illumination with all their other analog digital watches. Visibility, excellent, no complaints. It is a standard display, it is not uh, negative, so really, there's, I really can't say any more about that. Button and crown placement no issues there either I have had no problem with the buttons where they are at it wears perfectly fine on my wrist there have been no accidental depressing of any buttons next item is band quality and comfort I cannot speak to the band quality because the band fell apart literally right in front of my eyes uh, as far as this NATO band I mean it's awesome so if you buy an aftermarket NATO band there are really no complaints about that but I'm not reviewing a aftermarket NATO band. So for me personally, I had a very poor experience with this watch as far as the band goes. Hopefully you don't have that issue. I'm attributing it to the fact that I got this for almost 50% off. Actually, I think I got it for more than 50% off. So, you know, whatever. You win some, you lose some. Next item, overall, and should you buy. Overall, great watch. It functions flawlessly, just really well made. It's the full package. For me, it's too much. It's kind of like my G-Shock Golfman where it has so many functions that I'm just never going to use any of them because I, I'm a simple guy. I wear a watch because I like the way it looks and it tells me the time and it tells it to me accurately. So for that purpose, yeah, this does just fine. Um, but to be honest, it's got way too many features for me. I'm not the kind of guy that uses an ABC watch right you know I'm just not that kind of guy but if you are that kind of guy if you're an outdoorsy person if you do all that kind of stuff then this really you can't get any better than the PRW 60T so yep anyways that's all I gotta say great watch I hope that this video helps you in your next watch purchase thank you for watching and tune in for my next episode let's do one more 360 alright bye